Good day fellow shooters. Today we're not bet good day fellow shooters. Today we're not testing pallets. We are going to test silencers, also known as moderators. So what I'm going to do today is I've got two different moderators. I've got the standard FX moderator, that's the short stubby one, and the long one, and it's the first time that men don't uh, or it's the first time that men actually complains about length, is the Donny FL Koi silencer lot slimmer, lot longer, and hopefully a lot quieter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test these with five different pellets, and the aim is twofold. Firstly, I'm going to see if there's a big point of impact shift, and then secondly, I'm going to see how quiet these guns are, or rather listen how quiet they are. So I've downloaded, downloaded a Decibel app, I'm going to test the silence of the silencers or moderators, and then obviously also what it does with different pallets. So I've got five different pallets here from the Jumbo Monster Diablo redesigns to the heavies to the Jumbo Exact and I've also got two different slugs that I'm going to run it through. So in total five different pallets or slugs. I'm going to test the noise levels on all of them and also going to check for point of impact shift on all of them. Let's have some fun! First up, I'm going to go on power setting 1 because I know this gun runs the 16 grainers at 1000 feet a second or faster. I'm going to just shoot 2 shots just to get the moderator to settle down to power setting 1. And then I'm going to shoot 8 shots with the Johnny FL, Donny, hey Johnny, Donny FL on, take the Donny FL off, shoot 8 set shots with the normal FX suppressor and let's see what the results are. Let's go! Moderators. Right, eight shots with the normal FX. I'm going to aim at exactly the same point so that we can see if there's a point of impact shift between the two moderators. Definite point of impact shift between those two. Right. Moving on to the JSB Diablo 18 grainers, also in power setting 1, running at approximately 950 feet a second. Gonna shoot 9 shots with the Donny FL on, and then 9 shots without the Donny FL but with a normal FX silencer. Massive difference. Point of impact shift, a full mill dot on 30 meters. Mill dot high. I'll show you the guys the results just now. On the left hand side, the results of the Donny FL Koi silencer versus the FX silencer on the right. The grouping size doesn't really matter as the gun hasn't been moderately tuned. But what we can definitely see is the point of impact shift. On the FX, on the 16 grainers, a half a mil dot on a 10 times scope at 30 meters, and with the 18 grainers, a full mil dot on 30 meters. Next up, JSB redesigns, um, power setting 4 on my gun, running at about 4, 930 feet a second. Donny FL Koi silencer first, 9 shots. grouping but again almost a mold high difference between the two silences at this stage you must agree that's some impressive shooting thank you pat on the back let's go on again about a mold difference just between the two silences the one thing that's very obvious is that the Donny FL is definitely quieter than the FX but from an accuracy point of view there's not a difference between the two at this stage the decibel meter is not giving me a clear indication about the differences between the two I'll have to go and analyze that on the computer later but let's shoot some slugs. So these are the G2s, 23 grainers, running at around about 970 feet a second on this power setting. I've got the Donny FL on again, and I'm gonna do nine shots. 
Unfortunately, the point of impact was just above the camera line, but here you can see the final results. Quite interesting that the harmonics with the FX is a lot better than with the Donny FL, and for that reason, the better grouping on 30 meters with these G2 slugs. Not too shabby, Nige. All right, last round, JSB knockouts, 25 for 39 grain, 930 feet per second. Um, let's see. Over to the FX. Again, high. And it sounded on my ear a lot louder, but that might be just me. The one thing is very clear. Harmonics plays a massive, massive role. With one or two of the groupings that I've shown today, I've seen that the one palette or the one slug groups better with the one silencer versus the other and that's all got to do with harmonics and fine tuning the gun to that specific palette or slug. Let's go and have a look. Thank you. The slugs produced exactly the same results as the pellets. The FX shoots a lot higher but quite interesting better groupings with the slugs than with the pellets on the FX versus the Donny FL. That only relates back to harmonics and I'll have to go and retune the gun to get the best harmonics with the slugs as well but it will also force me to go back to all my previous testing do the harmonics again and double check what the Johnny FL is going to do this is going to be interesting I love these tests if you like this video please like subscribe come back for more see you guys again